everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So you all, today I'm going to be going over all of the perfumes in the Burberry Her line. This is one, uh, well this is my, these are my only Burberry fragrances as of right now. And I really enjoy all of them. So I decided since I now have all of the fragrances in this collection that I would go ahead and review them for you. So first I'm going to just tell you the notes in each one and then we're going to delve in, okay? So the first one is Burberry Her. This was released in 2018 and it was created by Master Perfumer. Uh, Maison Francis Kirkjohn, if I'm saying that correctly. And this is described as a floral, fruity, gourmand fragrance. The top notes are strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, and black currant, mandarin orange, and lemon. This has a lot of notes. Mid notes are violet and jasmine, and the base notes are musk, vanilla, oak moss, cashmere, woody notes, amber, and patchouli. So I told you, this has a lot of fragrance notes. Now the next perfume in this line is Burberry Her Intense. This is also described as a floral, fruity, gourmand fragrance, and this was released in 2019, also created by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Now the top notes in this are red fruits and blackberry, mid notes, ja mid note, jasmine, and base note, benzoin. So you can see really pared down in the notes for this one. And the third fragrance in this line is Burberry Her Blossom. This is described as a floral fruity fragrance and this was also released in 2019. And this is also created by Maison Francis Kirkjohn. Now the top notes are mandarin orange and pink pepper. Mid notes are peony and plum blossom and the base notes are musk and sandalwood. So still, the ones with the most notes is a uh, Burberry Her. Now this last one and the latest one in this perfume line is Burberry Her London Dreams. This is described as a floral fragrance. It was released in 2020. And this is the only one out of this entire line that Maison Francis Kirkjohn did not create. So the notes in this are, the top notes are ginger and lemon, mid notes, peony and rose, base notes, musk and amber. Burberry Her. This is a berry, lactonic, musky fragrance. It has great lasting power and sillage. This lasts six to eight hours on me. And you can you're like enveloped in the fragrance. And this has so many no. It is to me complex, but also simple, if that makes sense. Because when I was reading all of the notes when I was preparing for this video, it surprised me it had so many. But yeah, it is, you can tell there is some complexity to it, but it's not one that you have to go. You know, some fragrances especially on the niche side, you you, you you got to see if your nose is ever going to like that scent because they try to make it so unique. This is complex, but simple also. Very nice fragrance. This was a love at first sniff for me. Burberry Her Intense is slightly deeper. You you still smell the Burberry Her DNA, but it's slightly deeper than the original. It's smoother. It's a little edgier. It's sexier. Where I would say that Burberry Her, the original, is pink and girly and feminine, I would say the Burberry Her Intense is unisex and got a little deepness to it, got a little sexiness to it. 
Now this one also lasts eight plus hours on me. Great projection, great sillage. When everyone was wearing the mask and I was wearing this, I will never forget one of the um, employees at the Dollar Tree. She was like, you smell so good. And I can smell you through the mask. She kept, she said like two or three times. It just blew her mind. Now I did have this, you know, layer of other stuff because you know, it is me. But this is what you were predominantly smelling. And it just blew her mind that she could smell me through the mask. So this next one is Burberry Her Blossom. Now this is the more floral, citrus, peppery kind of musky fragrance. It's what I would say is the brightest of them, especially with that citrus note in the beginning. It, it's not as heavy and it doesn't have as much depth or complexity as the Burberry Her or the Burberry Her Intense. Now this lasts four to six hours on me with moderate projection and sillage and then it's like a skin scent. I really like this. What I will say, Burberry, this is closest to Burberry Her. But take out that lactonic note. Take out that milk, milkiness, that creaminess. If that kind of bothers you, which this one can, it can make me sick sometimes. This is the perfect alternative because it smells the most like Burberry Her without that lactonic note. Love this one. Love it. Low mall. And last in the line, this is Burberry Her London Dream. This is your lemon, ginger, musky tea fragrance to me. And this is also one, if you've been watching me, you know, this is what I would describe as your bath bomb kind of lush fragrance scent. Really enjoy this one. It's got a freshness to it. I think this one could also be unisex. And this lasts six to eight hours on me with moderate projection and sillage. So let's rate them. Which one comes in at number four for me? It would be London Dream. I like this one. I, really, I love them all. I like wearing them all. But this is just, it's not the best, in my opinion, in this line. I like it. I can even say I love it, but it's not one that I think I just must have it. It's not that for me. Coming in at number three, and this was a hard decision for me, but it's going to be Burberry Her, the original. And even though this is a love at first sniff for me, like I said, it can tend to make me feel a little nauseous. I have to be careful with this one. Absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So don't let it coming in number three have, have you thinking that it's not a great fragrance or that I don't love it. I do. It's just that it, that it can make me a little queasy, a little nauseous, and that's why it ended up in number three. Number two, if you haven't already figured it out, would be Burberry Her Blossom. Because like I said, love Burberry Her. And this reminds me the most of it out of this line, but without the creaminess and just a hint more of that floral. So yeah, this is number two. And number one, which I, this was a love at first and F2. This is Burberry Her Intense. I remember when I blonde bought this. I love this. You know, this is compared, of course, to Maison Francis Kirk John uh, Baccarat 540. And I've smelled it. And I still don't feel the need to buy it because I, right now in my life, I'm liking like Ariana's Cloud more than 540. I'm liking this, Burberry Her Intense, which I like it more than all of them cloud and 540 right now 
I just love this. This is so good to me. Love this. I know some people say they get a medicinal. No, I don't have that problem at all. I just get it smells wonderful. <laughs> so you all, that is my little short but sweet review of the Burberry Hair Line. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me if you have any of these uh, fragrances in your collection and which one is your favorite and why. Please share this video with everyone who loves to look, feel, and smell fabulous. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you will never, ever, ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.